Hello everybody, I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech, and I'm going to talk to you about using callouts in ScreenFlow 4. To use a callout, just go up here to the Properties pane and click on the little icon that looks like a dark circle with a mouse pointer on the inside. And here are the callout properties. Now callouts work a little bit differently than video and audio properties and actions. To use a callout, you have to add the callout to a screen recording clip. So let's do that. I'm going to highlight my screen recording clip here and adjust the scrubber to where you want the callout. Then click Add Callout. So all you need to do to adjust the duration is click on the beginning or end when you see this icon and drag it to change the duration. And you can click on it to move it left or right in your timeline to position it where you need it. All right, so the first option here with callout properties is the mouse cursor highlight. This highlights around the mouse cursor and it has a normal circle around the mouse cursor and everything else is quite a bit darker. And it follows the mouse pointer wherever it goes in the video. Let me show you here you can see it moving around with where you move the pointer. All right, so you can change the lightness and darkness around this circle by changing the opacity, make it lighter or darker. You can also blur inside the circle by adjusting the blur slider like so. And you can also blur the background by checking blur background. You can zoom up to make this circle larger. Increase the zoom there. And you can also increase the size of this circle by increasing the border. You can see here. You can add an outline by increasing the pixel width here for the outline. Click that, got a blue outline. You can adjust the color like so. You can add a shadow, and you can increase or decrease the size of the shadow with the slider. And you can feather it to blur the outline. And you can also adjust the build-in and build-out duration. Let's adjust this to a half a second, and the build-out to a half. And I'll show you what this looks like. You can have that effect come in and fade out like so. Let me play it. Show that there in and build out. So that's with the mouse cursor. The other option, let me reset all the properties here. Reset the defaults. You can highlight the foreground window by clicking here. And let's move the scrubber to the callout area so you can see what's going on. And this highlights around the foreground window, which happens to be the calculator. If you had, let's say, a browser open and that's the foreground window, it would highlight around that. And you can adjust everything like we did with the mouse cursor, the opacity, and so on and so forth. And the third option is to do it freehand. Select freehand here, and you can freehand a circle. With the circle, you can adjust the size by scrolling left and right with this slider. Maybe, let's select the circle first. And then you can see the size there. And to create a perfect circle, just go in your preview and click once, and that'll create a nice circle. If you want to click and drag, you can scroll around, and it's kind of like using a paintbrush in Photoshop, and you can define an area, and then you can have your normal property adjustments like the opacity and blur and things like that. I can see using this, say if you want to blur somebody's face out in a video, you can define the area of where their face is at, and then adjust the blur, like so. You can also define a square or rectangular area. Just click here, 
And the way to add this is just click in the preview and hold it down and drag it to define the size the way you need it. And that's all there is to using callouts in ScreenFlow 4. I'm Jake, the Geek Out Tech. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It's the easiest way to support the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.